Hey, what's up, everybody? Hi, Priestess Nayla Latrice here to give you all your messages. Uh, but first, I want y'all all to go and click on Ambition. That is the video I just put up, okay? And it is uh, some spoken word for y'all, okay? Some hip-hop lyrics, okay? So it's me telling my story, all right? So I got a whole lot more where that came from, and it will be uploading, okay? Um, I'll probably be dropping one a day or something like that you know um and if y'all think that's fire go ahead and comment you know but uh yeah if y'all think that's fire just wait till my actual music come out so i'm just i'm just i'm just easing y'all in okay building it up you feel me so now's the time Thank you, Spirit. Now is the time to start promoting yourself. Now is the time to start putting yourself out there. Whatever skills, whatever gifts that you have creatively, it is time that you go full force and put yourself out there. You guys may need to do some some type of research, okay, is what I'm hearing as well. Research um, um, some more about a topic, about an idea, okay, 111 on the timer. You are in alignment. So I'm hearing to say whatever came to your mind or the first thing that came to your mind when I said... Um, put yourself out there or whatever you do creative, you're a creative genius, then that is what you need to do. Don't second guess yourself. You know who you are. You know what you do. You, the, you already know your answer. It's, it's already inside of you, right? So, okay. So, yep, you guys have the seed. The seeds have been planted within you is what I have heard. The seeds have been planted within you. So, whatever seeds these are, they have been planted, okay? some of For some of you guys, it may be a hidden, unfound talent that you need to tap into. But as soon as you tap into it, it's like it's just going to spill out. Infinity. Some of you guys can have an infinity tattoo. You guys have an infinity pool, have recently been to an infinity pool, or you guys, you know, um, want an infinity pool, something about like that. Also, things are in order with seven and eight, okay? But yes, take the blindfolds off to your gifts, to your talents. Get out your head and just do it. Just do it. Do it. Do it, do it, hey, just do it. So just do it, yeah, because you're gonna come out successful. Some of you guys are definitely going to be making, I heard, billionaires. So um, a lot of people may say, oh, that's impossible, but it's not. It's actually not. You know how many billionaires that we have out here, right? Okay, so um, it, I definitely feel like y'all know y'all dreams. Y'all know who I'm talking to. It's not just some pipe dream or whatever. You know what you're doing, and it's going to lead to a whole lot of success here. Also, you need to plant the seeds. I'm hearing in people's minds. So you need to plant the seeds of who you are inside of people's minds so they actually know who you are so they can support you is what I'm hearing, okay? If you don't put yourself out there, how will the people know that you exist, my love? So you have to put yourself out there, okay? So you can become this, this multi-millionaire, this multi-billionaire here. I'm hearing what's better than one billionaire, two, especially when they from the same hue as you. Come on, baby. Okay, this wants to come out. <laughs> this eight of pentacles. We got the seven and eight of pentacles up here, and we got two eights, so that's 88, okay? Also, angel numbers, no matter what angel numbers you're seeing, they're very important. Today, I was, um, today has been interesting but um i was getting my car serviced and uh a guy walked in just randomly was like hey what angel numbers y'all been seeing today i know y'all seeing angel numbers what angel numbers y'all been seeing today and i was like oh okay and so you know me and him had a conversation and then there was somebody else that was sitting there um i was uh uh looking at some things about chakras and all of that stuff because y'all know i am a reiki practitioner go ahead and book your reiki sessions down below i will have some reiki videos coming creating content is not the easiest especially when you got other stuff going on you got to have the time and so forth but i i it, it, it will be on my platform it will be coming but anyways 
he uh and i saw he had a new york hat on and the the y inside of the n was actually an awk and i've never seen that before and i was like um i was like yeah I was like i like your hat he was like yeah he was like i saw you watching some stuff about chakras and stuff i was like yeah so me and him got to start to talking okay and it was a lady in there me and her started talking later about some stuff so it's just there's a lot of spiritual energy that is around um uh, uh so i had to say that for a reason you guys are tapping into your spirit spirituality you guys are seeing the signs you guys are seeing the synchronicities okay um you guys need to follow the messages look up the numbers when you're seeing them the numbers that we mentioned today when we were in the conversations was um uh, 888 777 and 555 and 333 so um uh yeah so go look up those if, if they're uh um it, it, uh, to see how they relate to you. I also heard if they're dedicated to you. So somebody, it, it's kind of like a question. It's like if they're dedicated to you. So somebody could be, you could be um, questioning if someone is actually dedicated to you or not. Or something about dedication or being dedicated to somebody. Or somebody could be dedicating something to you as well. Okay. Somebody is doing something just for you. Spirit is doing something just for you. Spirit is dedicating this for you. Okay. So somebody could also be dedicating a song. It's giving me the energy of, you know, back in the day and they call up on the radio and it's like this this song is a shout out to so-and-so you know that's what the vibes i'm getting okay um but definitely something with your work here you guys are uh, working very hard some of you guys have spiritual work that you do as well here okay and that's what it is you need to be focused on yeah there's something that's a burden something is burdening you um something is giving you headaches something is just making you frustrated or tired or just you're over it it could be your 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 current lifestyle right now okay um it could be a situation that has happened it could be a person Listen, okay, but something is stressing y'all or burdening you. Also, at the bottom of the deck, we have eight of wands. Something exciting happening. This is another eight, 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 eight. Okay. Also, we have this pops out. Okay, I'm not gonna read all of these. Okay. Um, look, spirit, like go on because <laughs> it pops out. We got the King of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Chariot. So this is letting me know Spirit is moving you forward. It's like, giddy up, giddy up. Spirit is moving you forward. Spirit is fast-tracking something and making something happen fast. Faster than what you realize. I heard it'll happen so fast to make your head spin or look twice, blink twice, something like that. It's like in a blink of an eye, something changes. Yeah, everything changes in the blink of an eye is what I'm hearing with this king of pentacles again this could be a job this could be like a new position that you're receiving or this could definitely be a person that's coming into your life okay um yeah and this is something you don't see here and like i said with, with this ace of pentacles here this is a brand new start for all the seeds you have planted y'all we got nothing but pentacles up here let me show y'all so there's six cards at the top we have the, the Eight of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Eight of Pentacles, right? And then under the, under here, under the Eight um, of Swords, we have this King of Pentacles. So this is something you don't see coming. As soon as you take off the blindfolds and walk into this gate, okay, it may have to, you may have to take a risk is what I'm hearing. You may have to take a risk, okay? But guess what? It's like you're going to walk straight into some type of abundance or some type of blessed opportunity that is here for you, okay? Um, it's like take this sword and it's like cut off the blindfolds. It's like she's already taken them off. Just take it off, you know? Again, it could, it could be a surprise or an untapped um <clears throat> gift that you're that you're coming into okay it will be revealed to you okay but yes yeah, so we have this king of pentacles here okay and then we have this ace of pentacles that's right up under this seven of pentacles okay so <clears throat> this is let me know the seeds you have planted it's like they're full grown now all the seeds you have planted, you may have had to plant like, you know, they put maybe like a five, I don't, I don't know, nothing about gardening and, pl and flowers and planting and so forth. But you may have to put, what, five seeds or a few seeds. I don't know how many seeds you got to put down. But you get one, you know, one flower to come up or whatever. You know, I'm trying to hold all of these in my hand. This is your one flower from your seven of pentacles that you have put in, okay? So some of you guys live luxurious lives here, okay? Or this, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> 
or this ace of pentacles uh this king of pentacles and what whatever it is that you're working on here um it's definitely going to allow you to live a life of luxury here and then after that we have the chariot okay so you guys are definitely moving forward quickly okay some of you guys will be able to get a new car okay or you guys will be able to purchase a car if you guys don't have one okay but yeah, you guys are definitely successful from all the work that you guys have put in here, okay? Something is moving forward with your work as well because this chariot card here is under this eight of pentacles. So this lets me know that you are moving forward very, very quickly with some, with, with, um, with your work i'm hearing a turn of events so yes yeah, something is changing for you in the blink of an eye okay so expect some type of communication here especially after some type of heartache you've suffered a lot of heartache you've cried so many tears you've experienced so much but this is a blessing i'm hearing a blessing in disguise a lot of the heartache and pain you went through it was to allow you to be the exact person that you are right now so you can receive these divine blessings you have divine blessings that are here for you fam okay um so let me see yeah let me get some more info great spirit so we got official person and we have imprisonment okay 11 11 on the timer okay yeah you may fit and look we got sudden wealth at the bottom of the deck so you may feel like you're imprisoned or again this eight of uh swords type of energy here okay these bars it's like you can't see something you can't see that you are really this official person or that this official person is coming in towards you let's get one one or two more oh okay spirit thank you Oh, I got it right here. Look, something about a house here, okay? Or something about your foundation. This is giving me four of wands type of energy, okay? So, yeah, something about your foundation, your roots, okay? Being rooted, being grounded, yeah. Some of you guys are in a poverty type of situation here, okay? It could be with the home, okay? You guys could be imprisoned in, in about a home, imprisoned in your feel. Some of you guys may feel imprisoned in your home, what your living spaces. It may feel like it, imprisoned, or could be because of the people that you live with, or something. It's like you'd rather be in a different living situation um, than than being where you are, or something like that. Okay, but um, I feel like that's going to change. Okay, because you're this official person in this house. So it's like, if you're living with other people, they see that you're this official person. They know or see that you're going to be leaving soon. Even if you don't know it, it's like they, they know it. They have a feeling about it, right? And it's like, that's maybe why it's difficult for you to be there. Because if you guys have turmoil or people are making it hard for you, this could even be a landlord or something like that. Look, journey, I'm telling you, you about to go on some new journey, baby. Okay, the number is one. We saw eight as well. The number seven. Okay, the number 20, the number 22, and the number 29 could definitely be important here as well. Okay, yeah, some type of community here. You could be getting help from some type of community. You could be servicing some type of community. 1313, 13, that's Scorpio energy. Okay, a transformation, death to something, something ending let's get one more okay two more here yes 31 32 despair bad health someone could literally have a bad health and then we have concern 13 33 i'm oh and 33 i'm telling you 33 so speak out say a prayer if this is you say a prayer some of you guys could have lost work because of your health you guys could have gotten fired or they let you go because of your health or they're <clears throat> telling you that when we get these messages out or either um uh, uh if you didn't lose a job because of your health maybe you're not being able to find work because your health isn't up to par so it's like you're trying to figure out what you're supposed to do for your money or how you're going to get your money okay because it's like your your health isn't up to par and it's like you gotta live still and this could be a concern of yours or somebody else is concerned about you or something like that 
okay but yeah because see it's like they're not hiring so some of you i'm heard hiring freeze so there could be a hiring freeze or you guys are experiencing a hiring freeze where you're not getting work okay and it's like you're wondering what you're going to do about your money or your finances but the thing is you have these gifts thank you spirit just says the way you get your money is your own gifts you have your own gifts that's why spirit is telling you to unlock your gifts and start working on your gifts because you can't depend on other people or these other people meaning other corporations and so forth for your money so spirit is telling you that your money isn't coming from these corporations they're coming from your gifts and that's why spirit gave them to you because spirit knew that we were going to be coming into times like this where the world is like this where they're going to be hiring freeze they're going to be laying people off where there's going to be an increase of people getting kicked out of their homes a lot of people out here being homeless and being in transition okay a lot of those different type of situations being being Spending for food and just people, just the, the times that we're in, spirit knew that. So spirit says, guess what? You have gifts. Use your gifts and I promise you, I will pay you. That's what I'm hearing. You will get paid for your gifts. Okay, so whatever gifts, whatever talents, you have to turn it into a business. It doesn't mean it's not going to be work, but you are going to go work for somebody else anyways. So work on your gifts, especially if you ain't got no work right now. Your work is, is building your own. Do what you got to do. Don't just be sitting at home watching TV or, you know, just doing nothing. Actually get out a, a pen, get out your notebook and start creating your plan. I definitely can help you with that, okay? Y'all know I'm a business major, okay? Um, with my undergrad and then my, my master's, uh, my graduate is uh, leadership, okay? So succession planning, all of that type stuff. Creating PowerPoints, I do all of it, right? So, but if you need a business plan or if you need to, you know, a business development consultation, okay? Um, I can definitely hook you up and get you right is what I'm telling you here, okay? But Spirit is saying your gifts is the way to get money. Even if you get some type of job for right now, okay, that's cool. Do what you got to do. Get hired where you can get your coin how you get your coin right now. But the long-term sustainability plan is for you working for yourself. You working for you. You working for spirit, okay? So whether this is your gifts, your talents, okay, you do hair, you do nails, you sell lashes, you have the ability to sell. Maybe you're like, well, I don't know what my gifts are. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I have spiritual gifts, Nayla, or you know, I don't. I can't sing, or I can't rap, or I, I. I don't. I don't know how to paint or draw. I don't know how to do these things, so I don't have any skill. You can sell something, cause somebody sold you on wanting to work for them. You got to put in the work, but it's going to be so much worth it. Yeah, because there's a new beginning. Yeah, you guys are uh, trying to figure out what you're doing with you and your children or something like that. Or you and your child here. Okay, yeah, it can be frustrating because you guys are out right now, it seems like. With whatever this is that's going on. It's like, but again, you can't see. Yeah, you guys feel imprisoned. But get out your head and get in your bag. But you guys can't see that there is a brand new beginning here. There is a brand new start here. Everybody is on different timelines. But this is your confirmation. This is the message that you guys needed to hear. I'm going to leave it right here. Spirit is actually telling me to, to pull a, a spiritual as fuck message. And then I'm going to let y'all go. Y'all can go ahead and um, book y'all readings down below. I offer phone readings, okay? Or either I, off, I offer uh, video readings, okay? It's like a bunch of them fell, so I'm going to get some different ones. Great spirit. What messages do you have for whoever clicked onto this video? And again, please go and support and click on Ambition, okay? That's the title of um, my track that I posted, okay? Some new, uh, new hip-hop for y'all, okay? Gossip dies when it hits wise ears we've heard this one before okay don't be spreading rumors don't get involved in all of that you need to be focusing on your money not no gossip okay um i heard gossip blog some of you guys may want to create a gossip blog be careful about the gossip that's mm, that's not high vibrational but you do you you know unless this is a, a creative way that you're doing it i'm not going to say what you can or can't do because it's you and your life but i heard gossip blog or maybe y'all listen to gossip blogs but just make sure if you're creating a gossip blog gossip is just is gossip that's not high vibrational 
So just pay attention if you're thinking about creating a, a gossip blog, maybe an entertainment blog or entertainment news or something. I don't know, but I was gonna say we can come up with some ideas if that's you. You know, we can we can um uh, you can contact me and we can discuss that. But yeah, don't don't do no gossip. Okay. Anyways, three ways to fail at everything in life: complain about everything, blame others for your problems never be grateful and i saw something about being grateful stop being an ungrateful shit is what i saw so it's like even if your situation is fucked up there's somebody else's situation that's even more fucked up so truly be grateful that your situation ain't your situation people are out here truly losing losing their loved ones like you know they're passing away and kids things are happening to children and you are blessed, my love. Even if you did not eat today, you are blessed. Even if you are without shelter, you are blessed, okay? Let me tell you. Even if you don't have, you know, material things, a car. You, excuse me. Yeah, that's for somebody because I'm telling you, they don't want me to talk. Even if you don't have a car or your bank account is low, whatever the case may be. I'm just trying to name things that some of you guys could be experiencing or going through. Okay, maybe you guys just had a breakup or you're not getting along with your family. I don't know. But let me tell you, there's way worse situations. And the power of prayer, the power of intention, the power of doing the work can change everything around for you. Self-care is not selfish. Okay, self-care is not selfish. And stay away from people who make you feel like you're hard to love. Because my love, you're so lovable. Give yourself a hug. You are so lovable. <laughs> I love you. Okay. So at the bottom, we have be kind hearted as fuck and full of love, but maintain boundaries like a motherfucker. Exactly. You can give everybody all the love you want, but you set them boundaries in the name of love. Okay. So these are y'all messages. Thank y'all so much for tapping into this energy. Y'all go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below. Book y'all reads in the description bar and check out Ambition. And I will see y'all in the next one. I am Nayla Latrice. Peace.